This week on CFO Learning Pro, Dynamic SmartArt. Hey, SmartArt came along back in Excel uh, 2007. It seemed to be designed for um, PowerPoint, and so they never thought of hooking up formulas to the SmartArt, but we can we can hook up formulas. So here I have a list of sales. Every time I press F9, these update, uh, and then I have a max formula here, an index formula to figure out how much they sold, and then finally a phrase. But I'd like to present that in more uh, interesting fashion, maybe for a dashboard or something like that. So we'll create some sort of smart art. Let's choose a vertical bullet list because there's lots of room here. Click OK. Uh, and initially, we just start out with some sort of uh, placeholder text. So someone is in the lead with 9999, like that. And we'll get rid of all the other shapes. I'll press delete, 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 backspace, backspace. There we go. So we have our uh, we have our smart art. I want to apply any kind of formatting. Uh, so change the color, change the um, style. I like the 3D style here. Uh, but that text is now um, just it's static text. There's nothing we can do about that. Uh, but if we go out here to the smart art tools design and starting in Excel 2010, uh, choose convert to shapes. Uh, it makes it not smarter anymore. It's just a regular old shape like we've had. Uh, and the drawing toolbar since Excel 97. And the beautiful thing about a regular old shape, once the shape is selected, uh, we can simply say equal sheet one exclamation G3 and the value for the smart art will come from that shape. Now we can still go through and change the uh, the text. And the color of the text. All right, so there we go. Every time that we press F9 now, the uh, smart art, well, it's not smart art anymore, the, uh, uh, the item will change with the new values. Uh, if they would have hooked up uh, formulas to smart art from the beginning, this would have been an uh, even better feature. But with convert to shapes, we can get the smart art uh, to be something close and then use this trick from Excel 97.